maybe you can give us a short overview um, of who is part of Ethereum 1.x and what kind of projects they're working on. Okay, so there were initially uh, four working groups that were kind of initiated um, for Ethereum 1.x. Uh, so one of the working groups is the uh, we called it state rent, and now we call it state fees because it might not be just rent. And so I take I took on the the sort of the the leading this group, um, and people agreed. People were who were there. Um, I hope it's still okay. <laughs> And then there was another group uh, about uh, chain pruning. So the, this is uh, the, the group which will be looking at um, something which is not related to the state directly, but also something that current Ethereum clients uh, have uh, some issues with uh, storing the blocks, which I think is going about 70 gigabytes or 80 gigabytes now, the block bodies, and also the growing event logs uh, storage. So these have to be we, we have to start pruning them at some point. And so um, so Peter Zilagi has uh, stepped stepped in to lead this group. So it, everything is kind of fluid at the moment. So the groups uh, are not really sort of restricted to these people. So we always uh, welcome new people to contribute. Um, and so the third group was, um, so the third group was the Iwasm group. So some people might be surprised what is Iwasm doing in, in there. It's like, how is it related to this? Like, is it, uh... So I agree that some, some it might sound uh, a bit artificial, but the initial, when we initiated this, the belief was that something like a state rent or state fees will be a, a kind of restriction to the resources that we give to the dApp developers. Um, and it's good to bring something in return. So you you take something and you give something else. So you're not just taking or you're not just giving. It's a give or take. Um, so Iwasm has a potential of, of um, doing this. And also Iwasm could help to, uh, to reduce the number of point features that we have to introduce. There was a lot of talk about introducing new precompiles for lots of different cryptographic primitives and that if you look at the history of Byzantium release there was a lot of time spent on just implementing two or three precompiles because of the proper gas calculation lots of testing and so instead of doing that instead of spending the time, core developers time on that why don't we just do the what they call the last precompile, which is Iwasm, and then you can implement all the precompiles there. It has a lot of nuances, but these are the two reasons why Iwasm is there. And currently, Iwasm is basically led by Iwasm team. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to list all the people because I probably will uh, will miss somebody out. But uh, um, so then the, the fourth group is uh, that has been formed is the uh, emulation simulation group. Is uh, essentially this is the group that tries to find out the what are the tools that we can use to support the other groups like state rent and, and the, the chain pruning group to do some sort of uh, test to, to to run some test scenarios and to to try to predict what problems that we're going to face in the future what are they going to be the first things that will break you know that's the roughly the description